Hey, how is it going everyone? This is Kray and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So today we are gonna go into our World Guild battle. We are up against HXH from Asia server. We are also having a fun one where we'll be using our defense teams as offense, alright? So hopefully we can get at least 4 wins in each fight. That will be the best situation because I do not want to troll too much. We need the points to collect some of the good rewards that they are giving out in the World Guild Battle nowadays, right? So let's just choose our teams here. I think this one we can bring in the Momo, Perna, and the Iris. Because Sierra is only the damage dealer on the team, then we'll fit in the Kuma team here. But actually, wait a minute. I think the Kuma one might work better against the Louise because we got double strips. Tiomars will be our damage dealer. And then we can use Kakano against the opponent's Kakano. <laughs> I think that is the plan. Okay. Yeah, seems good on paper, you know? But who knows? Anything can happen, especially with violent RNG is involved. So here are the rune sets of all of our units. The Miang, Cichlid, and the Huahi, this team, everything, speed tick 5 if I'm not mistaken. Then we're gonna go with the Chandra Nora and the Puppeteer over here. Mainly most of the things are like Violent Will, Violent Destroy. Uh, Perna, just pretty much standard stuff, speed, crit damage, attack. Here are the Kuma runes, just throw a random despair set on it. <laughs> That's probably one of our better ones. And then last but not least, the Kakano, Gianna, and Parjanya. So Parjanya is just to control them. And hopefully we can land our debuffs, right? Because slow debuff and provoke two turns is pretty huge. And we gotta start off strong. Come on. Our signet moves first. We reset the bitch. Alright? This mermaid. I do not want to deal with her. Thankfully, no violent proc. So we can go for the pride. Will fall. We got the attack buff now. Can we one shot this? Come on. 36,000 damage. Yo. That's actually pretty decent, you know? <laughs> Considering it's like on a speed crit damage HP build. So can we get a crit here? Okay, 11,000. Gets the violent proc. Now we reset this Miang. Okay, armor break landed. Let's go. We just need one lucky crit. Okay. Didn't get it. Yo. Oh. Our Huahi might die though. Chill. Last hit. <laughs> okay, we have to heal up. I think we extend the HP. Uh, basically, the buff duration. Got no choice. We need the heal as well. Okay, okay. You know what? I think we work onto the Asher. The Asher is the scary one, honestly. Wow! Everything! All six hits onto that unit! <laughs> Apparently it should be random, right? Yo, we got very lucky there. And the damage output is also pretty significant, you know? So my Huahi, speed HP, HP build. From what I saw earlier, it was around 4k without crit, 6000 with crit. A little bit of additional damage artifacts as well. So the damage is actually really good. I like that. So over here, didn't get the bomb onto the Kiki though. Oh man. Can't even land the slow debuff onto Chandra. Very nice. Are we gonna lose? Seems about right. <laughs> Oh man, if this Kiki Violent procs a lot, I think it's over. We have to control her, you know. She's the scary one, not the Liu Mei. Oh my god. Hey yo, chill bro. Ooh. Yo, our Nora might actually drop. Last hit. Okay, we can hug. Come on, come on. Is this the comeback? Feels like we didn't land anything, but yeah, got no choice but to use the fourth skill. Can we put some dots? Zero debuffs, very nice. Oh man, Kiki's debuff is too strong, dude. 
The attack debuff makes our bomb damage like potato, honestly. So even if we kill Liu Mei here, can we bring down the Kiki in time? Chandra needs to go down, alright. I think we got it! Whew! Nice! Alright, I like that. Very close match. <laughs> nice, done. Let's go. The Sierra's so slow. Oh, makes sense. Tanky Sierra. Almost 40,000 still alive. <laughs> the Monty, look at that. Double six roll, get fucked, bro. Okay. Come on. Now they don't have any more damage dealers. <laughs> Ah, the double six rolls. I love it when I see that. Usually that only happens when I am bringing it for offense. For defense, usually they roll like once and shit like that. Oh my god, we can't even crit the iris. Ah, this is what is gonna happen most of the time, you know? Always getting the one roll. But it's just too late, Monty. Alright, we can move on to the fourth round over here. Can we get some stuns? Ooh, stun and bomb onto the Luis. I want to go greedy here. We try to remove this unit. Miss the armor break, man. Hmm. Should I work onto the Tilmars instead? I don't like this. Can we stun? Alright, looking good. The Tilmar's Ender might be able to pop soon. Oh, still alive. I'm a break man. Uh oh. We have to cleanse. Hey, now you aim Tilmar's. That's not cool. Okay, good stun. You know what? I think we make sure this Tilmar's dies first. I don't want to risk it. Okay, just go for the finish. Invincibility buff now. Obviously, we can't strip. Bruh. Okay, nice. <sighs> okay, we're safe, we're safe. You know, every single time, when the opponent still got 3 units left, right? You can't land shit. But when the Tilmars already died, our Tilmars could land the armor break so easily. <laughs> it's like... When it's still very close, the RNG really bad, but once you bring down something, then the game knows, ah oh man, no matter what we do, we can't tilt the, the player already. So, just gotta give him the free win. Ugh. Every single time like this, man. Okay, moving on to the fifth round here. Opponent's Kakano quite slow, but of course he got the speed buff. We need to land the bomb. Perfect. Can we strip stun? Very good. Okay, here is our window of opportunity to kill something. We need to wait for our Kakano to move. Oh, he gets the crit! Wow! We also under hidden aim pose, bro. Oh man. This is a. Uh... <laughs> uh, we lost. How to come back? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Kakano will die to the dot already, right? But I'm just gonna use the AoE here. We gotta provoke two turns onto the chilling. Can we come back and win? I don't know, man. We don't have the revive. So at least the bomb lands this time. Whoa, yo, yo, yo. Pajena, do you have to revive? Two more turns. Wait, Sierra stunned by the bomb? We can place this and strip stun. We have to land. Okay. Pajana got revive again? <laughs> I think we can win. Savannah drop. Okay. Do we have the bomb? Do we need the bomb? I don't think so. Uh, good shit. Okay, so we got 5 wins actually, but tons and tons of close matches. Moving on here, we'll tackle the number 4 tower. Can't really read his name, but he does have the Laura and Wolyung. Interesting LD Net 5s that he's placing on it. 
And what should we do against the first one? Huh. What is a good option? <laughs> Laura is gonna move first. Definitely can't outspeed. I think we go for this. Yeah. Hopefully we don't die on the first turn. Then we can place like the bombs, the provokes and stuff like that. So over here, net 4, we'll go net 4 as well. Sierra, Rolyung, and the Rakan. I think we can fit our Momo here, right? Or the Kumar. Not really sure what to do, but we'll just place the units first. Okay, what can we change to favor our situation? Hmm. Yeah, I think Kuma one. Kuma one we place at the Luis. Yeah, and then left the Momo. <laughs> oh man. Somehow I don't really feel good about this. If the Rakan. Rakan provoke our Momo, we don't have armor break. You know what? Who cares? Yeah, let's just go. We already got 5 wins earlier, so we can afford to lose like 2 here. <laughs> Try to make it on an average 8 wins out of 10, at least, you know. Okay, Laura moves first, gets the stun onto my Chandra. Can we provoke? Obviously we can't. Three turns Tiomars, bro. Why every time like this, man? Give me a chance. Hey, stop. Yo. Relax. There's no way to come back from this already, I think. Stun rate also very good. <laughs> Huh, two turns again? Look at that. Beautiful. Also can revenge. Amazing. <laughs> uh, the RNG is so trash. Okay, gets the violent proc. Violent proc. A violent proc. Hey. Calm the fuck down, man. Hey, what is this RNG, dude? Are we gonna lose again? Hey, we also got Violent on the team, you know? Oh shit! That's not good! We can't even crit! <laughs> oh, this hurts! This hurts so much! Oh my god, okay! Wait a minute! Can we come back? Figaro is dead! Come on! Don't camouflage, bitch! Okay, there we go. Wow. Can't believe it, we actually came back from this. Donora 4 turns at the start though. Insane, man. I need all this kind of RNG in my life, you know? Sure, win! <laughs> if I get 4 turns right off the bat, confirm win. No way to lose. Hey, stop violent proking, don't waste my time. Okay? Go die! Alright, moving on to the third round. The opponent sick lit very fast this time. Gets the armor break. Now, I think we reset the Kakano. No choice. Okay. We go for this. Yeah, we don't have the skill though. Oh man. Death by violent procs every time. <laughs> I wanna cry. <laughs> oh man. Since we lost our damage dealer, how the fuck to come back? Nope. Yeah, just get me out of here, man. Just get me out. Okay, provoke landed onto two. Counter stun onto Sierra. This is huge. Can we stun the wall, Young? I don't want to deal with the heal. No stun. Huh, can we strip? Oh! We actually got all the strips on the attack buff. You know what? I think we work onto Rakan. He's so annoying. Momo, don't die, please. Triple counter stun? <laughs> 
Okay, RNG this time on my side. Let's go. Rakan, please drop. Please. Go for the armor break. Let's go. I think Sierra will die here. Perfect. This is good RNG. Our Momo back to full life. Fifth round incoming. Gotta land the bomb onto the Tessarion. I forgot. Tessarion's Oblivion kinda counters my Pajania though. Because we kinda need to go for this AoE provoke as well. I have to eat this. No choice. Hmm. We got the strip stun soon. Yeah, we have to do it. Didn't get the Praha. Now we are on a time bomb. We have to kill off this Tessarion before the Praha heals. This is gonna cut it very close. Oh! Okay, luckily not at full attack bar. <laughs> Imagine the counter into the heal. Faster than my Kakano. GG. Okay, at least now it's 2v3. But we do not have any heals whatsoever on our team. So we kind of need to bring down something here. That's a very nice crit. Let's go. Just gonna try to turn cycle our Parjanya. Next turn, we do have to provoke again. Okay, bomb landed. But I'm gonna risk it. No more attack. Yeah, because ch the retash will have the meditate up. No choice. Had to go for the kill. <laughs> now 3v1. Kakano. I think at the end of the day, if we lose our Gianna and Parjanya here, Kakano should always win the retash, right? But just when I say that, we can't even crit. Are you joking? <laughs> we have like, what, 77 plus an extra 15%? Just saying. Okay, retash. Yeah, just get stunned up, dies to the bomb. At the end of the day, at least we salvage 3 wins here. Even out, 8 out of 10. We'll collect the EXP reward as well. If we actually won one more, I think we could have collected the legendary all attribute scroll and then we can summon it in this video. Maybe our ragdoll comes out, who knows, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> so that's about it for this one. If we're just gonna collect all this first and probably sell all these artifacts because they are looking pretty trashy to me. Yeah, no quad rolls. Feels bad. This one we can keep. Okay, damage dealt on fire as well. Very nice. So that's about it for this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.